Hello everyone. Welcome back to Spoken English Video Lessons by Arrow Publications. I am your Spoken English Trainer Padmini and in today's video lesson, we are going to do an interesting tense called the Present Perfect Continuous Tense. This is a beautiful tense that can be used in our daily communication. Well, what does this mean? It means that something started in the past and still continues to go on in the present. So the present continuous tense is a tense that shows that something started in the past and still continues to go on in the present. In simple words, you can say that an action started in the past and it still is going on in the present time. So let's look at some examples to understand this better. But before that, let's look at the structure. Let's see how this present perfect continuous tense is formed. We make this present perfect continuous tense by using the subject with have been or has been plus the verb in the ing form. That means we add ing to the verb. Verb is nothing but the action word. And when we want to make the negative form, we use the subject with haven't been or hasn't been with the verb in the ing form. And when we want to ask a question in present perfect continuous tense, we ask questions with have or has and add subject to it and then bring the been and then of course add verb plus ing form. So we know how it is formed. We know how this tense is formed, what the structure is. Let's now look at some examples to understand the tense better, understand how you can use it. The first example, it has been raining since last night. Now what does this sentence actually mean when you say it has been raining since last night? If you say it is raining now, it means you're talking only about now. But if you say it was raining last night, you're talking about last night, but not now. But if you say it has been raining since last night, you are saying that the rain started last night and it's still continuing to rain. So have been and has been with the verb in the ing form denotes that an action started and it's still going on. Now the next example, the people have been waiting for the bus for an hour. Now, what does this mean? That means the people came to the bus stop and they started waiting for the bus one hour ago and they are still waiting because the bus hasn't come yet. I hope you understand. They are still waiting for the bus. And when did they come? They came an hour ago. So the people have been waiting for the bus for an hour. Now, the next example is I have been living in Hyderabad since 2015. I have been living in Hyderabad since 2015. What does this sentence mean? It means that I came to Hyderabad in 2015 and I continue to live in Hyderabad even now. So instead of saying I came to Hyderabad in 2015 and I still continue to live here, you can simply say I have been living in Hyderabad since 2015. Now the next example is, she has been suffering from fever since Monday. So when did the fever start? The fever started on Monday and she continues to have fever and she's still suffering from fever. So we say, she has been suffering from fever since Monday. Now let's go to the next example. He has been working in Google for three years. Google is the name of a company. So he say, we say, he has been working in Google for three years. So what does this mean? It means that he joined Google three years ago and he still continues to work for Google. So the action is still going on. He has been working in Google for three years. And the next example, the team has been practicing for a month. The team has been practicing for a month. That means for a month they have been practicing for the match. They started practicing a month ago and they still continue to practice. We have been watching TV since 4 o'clock. 
So we started watching TV at 4 o'clock and we are still watching TV. We have been watching TV since 4 o'clock. The speaker has been talking for an hour. So he's been giving a speech and he's been talking, he's been talking for an hour, for one hour, continuously, he's still talking. The children have been playing since 5 o'clock. The children have been playing since 5 o'clock. That means the children started playing at 5 o'clock and they still continue to play now. Arun has been preparing for the exams for a month. So lots to prepare for an exam. So Arun started his preparation a month ago and he still continues to prepare. Now, if you look at all these sentences, you find that we are using for and since in every sentence. Now, what is the meaning of for and what is the meaning of since? When do we use that? In present perfect continuous, remember, we use these two time expressions, since and for. Now, what do they mean and when should you use since and for? Many students are confused about this. So, what is since? Since is actually used when you mention the exact point of time, when the action starts. So, since is used with the name of a month, name of a year or exact time like 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or the name of a day, name of a month and so on. So, you can also use this since, since my childhood. You can talk about a particular point like your childhood. Since my childhood, since my birth and so on. Since my school days, since my college days. So, since is used with a point of time or the exact time at which something started. For, on the other hand, is used when you are talking about the total time. Number of days, maybe 10 days, 20 days. Number of minutes, 40 minutes, 50 minutes. Number of months, 3 months, 4 months. Number of years, 6 years or 7 years, whatever. But we don't you mention the time at which the action started with for. It's a total duration of time. I hope you understand this. It's important because many students tend to get confused with this. I hope you have understood this very clearly now. Now let's go to the negative forms. We can also make negative forms and let's look at some examples now. She hasn't been keeping well for a week. What does this mean? It means that for a whole week, for seven days, she has not been keeping well. That means her health is not good. She has been suffering from some health problem. I haven't been watching TV for a month. So for a month, I haven't been watching TV. For one month, absolutely no TV at all. And the next example is, I haven't been meeting my friends for more than a month. So I haven't been meeting my friends as well. That means maybe I'm busy with some exams or busy with something else. He hasn't been living here since May. So since the month of May, he hasn't been living here. He has already vacated. The next question forms. How do you make questions in the present perfect continuous tense? Have you been learning English for three months? That means, have you been doing this for three months? How long have you been learning English? You can also ask someone, how long have you been learning English? You cannot say, how long are you learning English? You must say, how long have you been learning English? Because it asks the person when he started. Has he been suffering from fever? How long has he been suffering from fever? How long has he been suffering from fever? The next example, has he been working on the project since June? What has he been doing since June? Look at the questions. What has he been doing since June? So from June onwards, what has he been doing? How long has he been working on the project? You have different ways of asking questions. The next one is, have you been living in Delhi since 2015? How long have you been living in Delhi? Where have you been living? since 2015. Different ways of asking questions in the present perfect continuous tense. So I hope you understand that the present perfect continuous tense is a very useful tense that we tend to use all the time in our daily communication and it makes your language sound very good. So I hope you have understood all that I taught you and what you must do is pick up a pencil or a pen 
take a notebook and make as many examples as possible. Pause the video where you want to listen to it again, listen to it a number of times, observe the pronunciation, observe the construction of the sentences and make your own sentences, as many as possible. And I'm sure you will really get successful at that and your language will get more fluent. Thank you very much for watching and if you like the video, do like, share and subscribe to videos by Arrow Publications. Thank you very much. See you soon.